Yes, Mr. Meyer, if I could just ask you if you could repeat what the questions are, because when this tape is played and people are having questions, oh, okay. you don't know what you're saying. We just hear you. And the other thing is, could you comment on the constitutional relationship? Because I've read information saying that nobody's a party to the Constitution mm -hmm. except for, you know, the parties who actually signed it. Exactly. Well, um, one second. Uh, the, with the constitutional piece, that we have to understand is a trust document as well. And basically, it was a trust document deciding how they were going to deal with the financial matters and bankruptcy of the day. And the people who were conscious of being in jurisdiction A, they needed a contract that would protect them from getting absorbed with all the debt in jurisdiction B. Well, we have to understand all of this again is, is, is fictional. We might even lose everything with all of this because these are all based on trust stock and bond. And we don't understand that all of this is created through our signature. There's a Fidelity website where you can put in your social security number. And I, I, have, I think I have it somewhere on the stick. And you can see how much, you can see the Cupid number, the stock symbol of what your birth certificate, um, the numbers on your birth certificate and your social security are being traded for on Wall Street. We have to understand that 33, when they removed the only law reform of money, they gave us all the prepaid accounts. But none of this stuff was explained. Really, everything in commerce is prepaid because that was the remedy that they had to put in place in order to avoid treason. They can't, you know, there can't be impossibilities in the law. So they put remedies, but they never told you. It's literally taken most of us who've been studying this 70 something years to get to the point of understanding this whole scam and being able to use remedies. And the remedies are there, but it's not easy to get to. Mark, I could not discuss the very, that's an excellent question. And yes. Well, the question. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. Now, the, the question was by collapsing the trust. Were you a, are you able to put the money, to get the money back that you put into the system? And the answer is yes. Uh, well, actually, the goal is to get the money first. To, to, you know, to be able to, you have to document your standing in the public question. You need to use a full service brokerage firm who can trace where the bonds are being held. A friend of mine just did an instance at Wachovia. And then you would begin to, if your paperwork is filed correctly, then that full service broker is able to go to the DTC and, and the budget. Depository Trust Corporation. Um, well, first you you provide a bond um, to the to, to the full service broker, and then he has, is the only one that has a master uh, link to the DTC because he's a, a full service broker, and basically the DTC will you know agree well will release. Uh, 500 million for a period of eight weeks. So now that broker is able to take that bond and put it in what's known as a private placement um, platform. And you're able to make um, a certain percentage for eight weeks off of that bond without the principal being cut. So the DTC never loses any money. And then once you do that, then you would want to collapse the trust. The collapsing of the trust is an audio file that I have on the, um, on the, uh, well, everything that I'm discussing in the lecture I have on a DVD. 
it's actually, uh, you know, computer stuff, but it's so much that it couldn't sit on a CD, and I put it on a DVD. And I have a whole thing on everything you could possibly want to know about a trust, um, everything you would want to know about, um, it, you know, it's not the end or be all, but it's a, it gives you a nice beginning to be able to understand and understand all the stuff that's going on. Okay, this is the trust file, and as you can see, it has tons of uh, documents in here. Set the K trust, how to do a FOIA, which is a freedom of information. <laughs> There's an audio file on here that explains the benefits. Now, when you cross the trust, that's how you get to column A. And not only that, the roles reverse because you're not now a liability in the bankruptcy and a food source for the bankruptcy. You are now in your position as creditor because anything that's being created is generated from your energy, from your signature, from your uh, future uh, labor, from your ability to navigate and conquer. And so now these same government entities now become your employees because the roles reverse back to where they should be. If we were educated, we would have, this is how it would be anyway. But since we're not, we live at 18 years old, we have 30 days to come in and take control of the trust, we didn't do that. So now later on, when he, you know, has to rent, time period, now you have to use half a day that you have to use a UCC1 filing, you have to do an administrative process, you have to do things to allow you to take control of that trust again. Now I know you had your hand up. I was hoping that I might even say that. So if you, um, because, you know, it's such a sensitive subject especially in this election. <laughs> but if you've been navigating as a debtor all along, you might as well look. <laughs> it was an eye of that hope, personally. But I, I don't want to be seen as, uh, you know, because I'm getting to especially with black people, oh, your God, your nose is dying to you before. And that's not even an issue at here. The vote, you know, Bruce election should hold everybody. The voting is a race to die. You know, the electoral college is the one who selects the president. You know, so, you know, and I try to, because I, you know, people are like, she's so controversial, she's a you know, and I understand people saying it's like Obama, Obama. I understand all of that rah rah, but we have to look at the connections, the underlying dynamics, what's going on, who is he connected to, who is he making deals with, what, you know, how to work fantasy, mortgaging your life and your family and your great grandkids who are left. 70 years of this bankruptcy, you know. Um, so my question, I appreciate everything you just said. I myself am not going to vote, but I do want you to confirm that that's what you were saying to me. Especially, you know, why was it missing a few weeks ago when so many people were contacting your Congress? Because they, in essence, were saying we're not going to accept that $800 billion debt. Okay, so Exactly. That's a very good question, but they need a certain amount of participation um, from the from the people in order to attach to get to them. Exactly. And, and they got very nervous. 